and sharing. Marie, sorry. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hello to everybody. Uh, my name is Maria Zaric, as he said. Uh, I am a freelance web designer, speaker, technical reviewer, photography enthusiast, and a street artist coming from Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, uh, this is my fourth war camp. This is also my second time journey in Netherlands, the first time in Arnhem. Many thanks for inviting me and many thanks for coming. I will talk about how the Commons gave me an opportunity to be open, to learn, share, contribute, evolve, and why is that important. And not to forget one thing more, how I felt groovy while working on it. What is the Commons today? The Commons today is internet. With the internet, we have new ways of sharing software, code, images, website themes, information, enabling the growth of the digital Commons that we have now. People can share their ideas easily due to that possibility. Ideas are the driving force of human progress and the building blocks of creativity. Digital Commons is Wikipedia, Wikimedia, open source such as WordPress, many responsive frameworks from uh, Bootstrap to Responsive to Foundation and many other open source projects as well. More than 75% of the software code that financial services firm use is open source. Uh, many kinds of organizations are shifting toward open source to develop different kinds of solutions, a pioneering one. Web continues to be built on open source by wonderful altruistic people. Um, I started as a freelance web designer back in the 2010, back in the days. Being angry was one of the emotions that moved me to become a freelancer. Wow. Um, but uh, it was rather transformed into a positive force that helped me to express my creativity. It sounded like something from a sci-fi movie. May the force be with you. And I definitely felt it. So the next time you feel angry, channel it into a piece of work and you will be utterly amazed at what you can and will achieve. I was so eager to get started. I created free HTML5 themes with a goal to share the knowledge and learn and attract potential international clients. There were a couple of them and they served as a good structure for the future projects. Um, this part of the screenshot that you see was one of the first three teams of mine called Fresh Ideas. They are still using that team for their own website. Uh, the users had to only give me the credit on their websites in the footer. Uh, luckily, after a couple of months, people started to contact me about the themes from the users who just begin to learn HTML5 to the users who use these themes for their future projects, to others who needed an, um, a piece of advice on the code and the design of the team, to the clients from Europe to USA who, who needed websites uh, based on these themes of mine. Suddenly, I felt like a great enthusiast, filled with an endless, endless joy and excitement. I zipped my boots and went for a long stroll through the city, feeling electric, groovy, happy. And when I came back full of adrenaline, I thought, what is an enthusiasm after all? And here it is. Enthusiasm is excitement with inspiration, motivation, and a pinch of creativity. Quite an interesting ingredient of enthusiasm we have. Uh, overall, we are driving an impact with open source. Technology helps us and pushes us to be the creators. Slowly but surely, like my footsteps, I was a part of the world working internationally, contributing in that way. People in poorly developed countries don't have starting points like others said in highly developed countries. Therefore, strive for learning and persistence in that surrounding of mine was my stepping stone to start creating and open source projects, and as a way out spiritually. Open source as the commons is building internet in a generous, knowledgeable, and creative way. Years past, working with the clients worldwide and helping others with the code and the design. Thus, I learned a lot, and I really, really enjoyed working like that too. Nevertheless, you have to be a relentless learner. Learning should be a lifelong endeavor not just your current priority. Around 2012, I started creating small business websites in WordPress. On one winter day, I got an email from a potential client asking me, can I create a, a, a small business website in that software from scratch based on one of the three teams of mine? 
without any further hesitation, without any further thinking, I said, yes, I can, yes, I will, no problem. Because just that possibility to learn from the great community of WordPress and to use software that is vastly used was a great challenge and a great project to me too. At the end of the day, I finished the project and I continued learning WordPress. One of the most interesting parts of learning WordPress among many was the creation of my own website from scratch, uh, learning PHP with it, uh, playing with the colors, typography, uh, finding actually my own visual style, testing plugins, and so on and so on. Because if you want to learn, you better learn it on your own projects, you know. Open source powers the future of innovations in the local communities. How? With local communities, very simple, through education. Because education is a vital key to human progress. That is actually our shared right to knowledge and creativity. Local communities from every corner of the world can educate themselves, can learn, and can have their small businesses visible online through their websites, and can help themselves like that. What is the main importance of being open? There is a great quote on the wall in the city of Belgrade with the words create together for tomorrow. That is actually what we're doing when being open. We are creating together for tomorrow, all of us. Philosophically, we're also bridging the distance between each other with open source through sharing and contributing. In 2014, I started creating responsive bootstrap teams where now a couple of them are free to download via my website and to use them for your future projects. They are ranging from one page, simple, one page minimalist team, one page saloon team, simple studio bootstrap team, a coffee shop team, and so on and so on. So feel free to download one, two, three, or all of them for your future projects, or maybe to learn HTML, CSS, bootstrap, or to make them into WordPress websites or, or, or themes. Open source continued naturally to me in terms of web design. I cannot stop that. It goes with the flow. In that way, I can help small businesses and individuals to have a website and to learn. <laughs> Among these three teams of mine that I have created, I have also created a cat shelter bootstrap team. Why I gave it for free? As somebody who loves cats, I have noticed that some cat shelter websites are not responsive at all, and they are not updated with the design. So with that team, cat shelters can help animals to have a website for them, and with it, they will give them a chance to be adopted, to find a volunteer who will help them, to get a donation, and that is a great thing to do, because a cat is a magical, if you didn't know, and the bringer of good luck. This image of this crazy cat uh, is from my neighborhood. Her name is a Scratch. And uh, don't you dare playing with her without a stick, you know? It's very, very painful. <laughs> I know that. And, and she's hissing all the time at that stick. <sighs> and very, very wild. Very wild cat. Um, open source is a great playground field, too. To me, open source is a funk yard, definitely. Open source as the commons makes us to be good people, which is the most important. The commons is not about a profit, it is about people the community, a dedication, and persistence. To me, it is an open-minded philosophy, a commitment to open-mindedness, and the social movement, too. We are putting our experiences, personalities, beliefs, and curiosity in it. That being said, cultivate curiosity. So much universe and so little time. <laughs> My voyage through contribution, in uh, contribution, enthusiasm, inspiration, and wonders continued. A wish to create is one of the profound yearnings of the human soul. Therefore, stay bold, stay brave, dare to create it differently. Now I have a question for you. Based on what I said so far, what are the most important words you remembered now when you think about the digital commons? Just two to three words, if you remembered, actually. Just like two, three words you have, you remember. Say it. People. People, yeah, yeah. Contributing, good people, community. What else, what else? Come on, come on. Learning. Okay, somebody else. Giving. Giving. Just uh, words now when you think about digital commons based on what I said so far. Say it. Feel free. <laughs> like, you know, the words that I say, like curiosity. Th these are so important words when you think about the digital commons. Friends. Friends. OK. 
Okay, so here, based on what I said so far, ideas, sharing, contributing. Good people, community. Knowledge, creativity, innovations. Enthusiasm, inspiration, dedication. Persistence, curiosity. Experiences, wonders. Now when you think about digital commons, think about these words. They are very, very important. Um, in 2016, I started to photograph for a great website called Unsplash, where you can download and use images for free as a photography enthusiast and a street artist. How many of you have heard about Unsplash? How many of you have been using images from Unsplash? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the best uh, photography website online. Not because it is free, it's because people are so generous and creative and images are phen phenomenal, definitely. Uh, as somebody who was throwing down the city with my camera, I found this website as an awesome opportunity to, to, to create again, to share, to contribute again. With being open in photography, photography as an art becomes available for a wider audience across the world, not just for the galleries and institutions, which is the case usually. That is actually the movement of the open photography. That is a cultural and an artistic movement too. That means that creativity is better left unconfined, as well as knowledge too, which we already have with open source and with open movements in general. As far as you have noticed, contribution is deeply ingrained in my spirit. Again, a question, please just raise your hands. How many of you here would like to express themselves, to share, to contribute? Now, tomorrow. That's so beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Then the digital commons is a beautiful way to succeed in it if you try. After all, you will get the commercial clients one day or another, one day or another. From some corner of the world, you will have an ups and downs and ups and downs, but that is life, of course, though you will stay free in some way. I call the commons as the freedom of expression, knowledge, creativity, because it is a great way to share something that you love to do, and at the same time to inspire others, help others, motivate and encourage them, and at the same time to pursue your dreams and to build a legacy for others to follow. Why not? As technology improves, a big question arises. How better can we be as humans? Luckily, luckily, with the digital commons, you can leave your footprint in a compassionate way. And there is this great quote of mine. Technology with good people must bring compassion, the willingness to help others. I wish if this quote is in every corner of the world instead of the overload and the overload of the commercial ads and billboards by consume, by consume. Blah, I wish if this quote is deeply ingrained in our hearts and thoughts every day. And I'll repeat it again. Technology with good people must bring compassion, the willingness to help others. Because compassion brings us to a stop. And for a moment, we rise above ourselves. Isn't it the goal of all of us in life to be compassionate, to find compassion, to strive for compassion? Because we obviously have just one life to live. Uh, overall, with the digital commons, we already have an advances in code, software, creativity. We have progress in discoveries. Therefore, we become an explorers, going to an uncharted territories. Something again from a sci-fi movie, something from a saga of exploration. Working like that, our brain is freed from having to follow the rules and simply invents. So, if you're working on an open source project or you just have an idea, you're finishing it, please do it, continue, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to innovate, experiment, evolve and to have fun. We are all gifted. Recognize your talent and share it with the world. Recognize other people's talents and encourage them to share it with the world too. Um, Again, question for you. What is the most important word for the last couple of minutes that I said that you should remember? Share. Compassion. Share. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Compassion. Share. Well, it's all connected. It's all connected. Compassion. So here are the more, more important words that you should remember along with the ones that I said before. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. So we have definitely compassion. It's so important in this life to have a compassion. So we have freedom of creativity, expression, knowledge, kind of free software movement. We have, we have movement, movement in, in terms of having the freedom to explore ideas and technology. You know, that's awesome to me. So then we have advances, discoveries, explorers exploring, inventing inventors, 
challenge yourself, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible was my first three tar sticker. Uh, I was thrown to the city as usual uh, when I found this great neon light words in an 80s vibe in a furniture store. I took a shot, created stickers, put them on the streets with a goal to inspire people who are passing by. And you can find a couple of images of Nothing is Impossible via Unsplash. Or you can find all of my images via Unsplash and download it for free. It's, it's really great. It's really great to contribute in that way. So really, really, really challenge yourself. And really, really, nothing is impossible. Uh, internet has to continue to grow in that direction in the future. And we also have to thank to so many people who helped us, who helped me, to start learning with their website teams, codes, software, frameworks, images that they gave us generously. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for being open, curious, humble, and enthusiastic. When somebody tells you that nothing is free as usual, nothing is free, then he or she or they are not right at all because open source is for free, a great storage of knowledge, creativity, and inspiration. Kindness is free. Be kind every day, online and offline. One act of kindness can, in a ripple of time and space, create another act of kindness. And that is a great, great force for good. Uh, what else is for free? You are breathing for free, did you remember? And if you ran out of breath as you chopped down a tree, don't blame it on the tree. Therefore, please, wherever you can, plant a tree. There is also in Belgrade a great American library where you can rent the magazines and books generously. And that possibility gave me the courage to share my stories on international conferences in English language, such as this one too. There are lots of things that are for free here. We should be thankful for these gifts and we should celebrate. This is, all these images gifts are from Belgrade, Serbia. Come and see. <laughs> yeah. Um, in a conclusion, to be open to me is to be free to express yourself, your ideas, creativity, knowledge, to be compassionate, to motivate, to inspire, to encourage. So start contributing, sharing, learning, respecting, and don't forget to laugh. Lift to that rhythm in your life. <sighs> Don't forget to laugh because humor is a kind of superfood. It connects us all. I mean, if you haven't heard, this is going to be the latest version of the cell phone coming out from tomorrow in this shape. But only in this shape. You haven't heard. No, we, 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 like this kind of uh, mobile devices, they will be removed. Only this one will stay forever. And this is the explanation. I don't know where the you know, parts for the numbers, actually. It's utterly, utterly hilarious, isn't he? Isn't it? <laughs> And finally, fight for your freedom of expression and look at the stars. Stars are amazing, skies fascinating. When I was a kid, I loved to sit on the back of the totally and utterly ruined car that was in front of my house with my cats and to look at the stars, to wonder about the universe. I knew all the constellations of the stars, starting from small bear, big bear, and so on and so on. So while I'm wondering about the universe, uh, where everything is full of mystery and the inexplicable, at some moment, I'm like, Oh, my dear cats, I almost forgot to watch the episode of my favorite epic, legendary TV series, X-Files, because the truth is out there. How many of you here have been watching X-Files? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, we just I had to do it. I had to do it. It's, the truth is out there. It's epic, legendary phenomenal. Um, and in the meantime, on this tiny blue-green earth, where I aim for the stars, as you already know, though I always end up in Belgrade with my stickers, uh, my odyssey through, and you know all the words, contribution, wonders, inspiration, and enthusiasm continues. Many, many, many thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for interactivity and all. Thank you for making our city more beautiful with the whole city. Yeah, thank you. If we have questions. So, when did you start actually? 2014? Websites. Yeah, with the stickers. Oh, with the stickers. Some years ago, Alexa three years or something. So I thought, um, it was so great, you know, we have great street artists in Belgrade, I was so inspired by them. In our, in our city, actually, I didn't dare to put stickers here in Arnhem. Yeah, I don't know what would happen. 
Uh, but in our country, I mean, you yeah. can put them everywhere, and you can find awesome decayed backgrounds with the with the colors. You can you can also find it via Unsplash, my uh, stickers and posters. I love it, and you know, I love this kind of activism. Uh, we respect your privacy poster because we don't respect your privacy, and you know, and and you can be uh, uh, very very surprised because these images could be published on so many great magazines. You know, I didn't expect it because in my country I cannot be a photography enthusiast for our local television, and you know. It. Uh, so Forbes, you know, you see your images in Forbes, like what? And then so many, so many um, Mexican uh, magazine uh, news about not testing on animals. It's kind of activism. Street art is activism. It's a great activism to 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 wake up people, to inspire, and you can see it all and download it and use it for your blog or magazines online. Feel free. I enjoy it really. And when I came back, I have new stickers to put on the streets. I will never stop in Belgrade. I cannot do it anywhere else. I know that I'll get some fines. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just need to share a link username for the Unflash team. Ah, for yeah, 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 OK. Yeah. This is in the center. You know where it is. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Phenomena. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you again. Thank you, thank you.